Maxwell just changed the game forever. 500 fully self-powered buses, engineered from scratch, have officially hit the roads. No plugs, no pumps, just pure independent motion. This isn't just a milestone, it's a movement. Welcome to the revolution in mobility. In an industry where even the biggest players are still tethered to charging cables or gas pumps, Maxwell has dared to break free. After years of silent research and deep tech development, the company unveiled a fleet of 500 buses that defy every norm. Each of these marvels is built with Maxwell's proprietary self-sustaining energy system, a technology shrouded in secrecy, but rumored to harness kinetic energy thermal conversion, and advanced regenerator systems. The result? A vehicle that powers itself as it moves. From materials to mechanics, nothing was outsourced. Maxwell designed, built, and programmed every inch of this machine in-house. And the buses aren't just energy efficient, they're intelligent. With real-time route optimization, adaptive AI control, and zero-emission certification, they may just be the most advanced public vehicles on Earth. Initially deployed across key smart cities in Africa and Asia, these buses represent more than innovation. They symbolize independence from outdated infrastructure and a cleaner, smarter future. Where others see limitations, Maxwell saw opportunity. While EV giants race to build faster chargers, Maxwell quietly built something that doesn't need charging at all. The implications? Massive. Industry experts are calling it the boldest move in clean transport history. And as the first passenger step aboard, the message is clear. Maxwell didn't just join the race. It leapfrogged the competition. This is more than a breakthrough. It's a declaration. Maxwell's 500 self-powered buses have arrived. And the road will never be the same again. But what's truly astonishing is not just what Maxwell built, but how they built it. In an era dominated by outsourcing, Maxwell took a radically different approach. Vertical integration. From next-gen battery-less power units to AI-regulated thermal converters and adaptive route learning software, every component was developed in-house. This wasn't just innovation, it was reinvention. At the heart of this self-powered system lies Maxwell's most closely guarded secret, codename, the Continuum Engine. It's not a battery. It's not a motor. It's a closed-loop hybrid of kinetic induction electromagnetic recovery, and something Maxwell still refuses to comment on publicly. Some analysts speculate it's based on principles of ambient energy capture, turning motion, friction, and even temperature differentials into perpetual usable energy. If true, this wouldn't just change transport. It would transform energy itself. Operational costs are slashed by over 60%. Downtime? Practically zero. And with zero emissions, these buses are not only cleaner, they're smarter, learning from every journey, optimizing performance without driver input. The ripple effect is undeniable. Cities are rushing to revise procurement policies. Global transport giants are rethinking everything. And Wall Street? It's watching Maxwell at Hawk. Because this isn't just 500 buses. It's a working proof of concept for a new paradigm independent intelligent mobility built outside the traditional fuel electric binary behind the scenes there's a growing storm traditional automakers are scrambling to understand what maxwell has done some accuse the company of hype others are desperately trying to reverse engineer the tech but while the world reacts maxwell is already building 2000 more next stop harsh climate deployment Maxwell plans to test these self-powered buses in extreme heat and sub-zero zones, proving once and for all that this technology isn't a gimmick, it's a future. And insiders hint it's something even bigger. Self-powered cargo haulers, autonomous delivery systems, maybe even military-grade transport. One thing's for sure, Maxwell's bold move is just the beginning. 500 buses. One vision. Infinite possibilities. The transport revolution has begun. What if the buses were just a prototype? Behind closed doors, sources confirm Maxwell isn't stopping at public transport. The same breakthrough tech powering those 500 buses is now being scaled for the skies. Project Helios, Maxwell's rumored self-powered aircraft, aims to eliminate the aviation industry's greatest weaknesses, fuel dependence, emissions, and cost. Early models suggest it can fly 1,000 kilometers without a single recharge or refuel. 
And just like the buses, it doesn't rely on conventional propulsion. Instead, it leverages atmospheric pressure, kinetic motion, and microenergy harvesting layers built directly into its fuselage. The bigger picture? Maxwell isn't just building vehicles. It's building a world where infrastructure isn't needed at all. A world where homes, cities, and transport systems generate and sustain their own energy. Global powers have taken notice. Already, leaked memos reveal that defense and intelligence agencies are approaching Maxwell, not just for civilian use, but for national security applications. The reason? A vehicle that never stops moving can never be stranded, never be tracked conventionally, and never be dependent on external supply chains. Meanwhile, the ripple effect is growing. Oil futures are unstable. Lithium markets are facing scrutiny. Battery-reliant EVs, once hailed as the future, are now being questioned. What happens to an industry built around charging stations when most advanced transport tech doesn't need one? What's inside continuum engine still remains a mystery. Patent filings are heavily redacted. Technical documentation is encrypted. And insiders speak only in code. Some whisper it's a form of microscale fusion. Others believe it a new class of energy transfer never before seen in civilian tech. And there's a reason this feels beyond human speed. Sources close to the project hint at something radical. Maxwell isn't just using AI, it's co-developing technology with it. Designs are being evolved through generative AI systems that run thousands of iterations in hours. The Continuum Engine may not even be fully understood by its human creators. The world thought energy was a commodity. Maxwell may have turned it into a function of motion, a new law of mobility, a new order of independence. And if that's true, we're not just watching a transport company rise. We're witnessing the quiet birth of a new civilization model. Imagine a city with no power lines, no grid failures, no energy bills, where every home, vehicle, and street lamp creates stores and shares its own energy. That's not science fiction. It's Maxwell's next target. Maxwell is already prototyping energy autonomous smart blocks, miniature cities where energy is harvested in motion, stored in kinetic vaults, and dynamically shared in real time. No fossil fuel, no solar panels, no central grid at all. At the core of this new model lies Maxwell Synapse, an AI that acts like a living nervous system, routing energy, monitoring demand, and ensuring balance in microseconds. Each Maxwell power device is both a consumer and generator. The city itself becomes a living circuit. In regions with no access to electricity, Maxwell's buses are doubling as mobile power hubs. One bus can power a school. Two can power a village. Three can bring light, heat, and connectivity to thousands, all without ever plugging into anything. The implications? Boundless. Disaster relief with instant mobile grids. Smart cities at scale without wires. A world where blackouts, load shedding, and national grid dependency are relics of the past. But disruption invites resistance. Traditional utilities and oil-based economies are pushing back hard. Legislation is being drafted. Partnerships are collapsing. Analysts are warning of a grid rebellion. A panic in industries that, until now, thought they were untouchable. Governments are quietly preparing for the Maxwell effect. The possibility that millions could unplug from national grids, not out of protest, but simply because they don't need them anymore. And while debate rages, Maxwell expands, quietly, strategically, rolling out mobile energy fleets where they're needed most. Refugee camps, war zones, and climate-stricken cities are becoming testing grounds for a new kind of civilization, resilient, mobile, and self-powered. If Maxwell succeeds, the age of centralized power is over. But this is just the beginning, because what Maxwell is really building isn't a fleet of buses. It's not even an energy grid. It's a platform, a living, intelligent, autonomous ecosystem that redefines what's possible when machines power themselves and each other. But where there's power, there's always a temptation to weaponize it. The world watched Maxwell's innovation with awe. But in high-security war rooms across the globe, it triggered alarm. Because a vehicle that never stops, never refuels, and learns as it moves can be more than transport. It can be a weapon. 
Maxwell self-powered systems offer something no military in history has ever fully achieved. Uninterrupted fuel mobility. No fuel convoys. No charging depots. Just fleets that move, adapt, and self-sustain indefinitely across any terrain. In modern warfare, logistics is everything. And Maxwell just made logistics obsolete. Already, rogue states and paramilitary groups are attempting to reverse-engineer captured Maxwell tech not just for transport, but for deployment. In regions where the line between civilian aid and strategic dominance is razor thin, Maxwell's tech has become a bargaining chip and a target. Maxwell, aware of the threat, has moved to lock down its core tech. The Continuum engine has been air-gapped from all external networks. AI cores now operate under quantum encrypted partitions. Field vehicles are loaded with tamper detection systems that self-wipe under duress. But is that enough? China, the U.S., and a coalition of unnamed states are rumored to be working on adaptive mimetic energy engines, machines designed to replicate or counter Maxwell's tech. Whispers of new arms races are emerging, not over nukes or drones, but over mobility itself. The U.N. has now convened an emergency summit. For the first time in modern history, nations are pushing to define transport independence as a strategic threat. They fear a world where borders can be bypassed by machines that never stop and never depend on state infrastructure. Behind the scenes, operations are underway. Cyber espionage units are attempting to infiltrate Maxwell's neural infrastructure. There are rumors of offers to bribe engineers, blackmail scientists, and even fabricate scandals to halt its rise. But Maxwell anticipated this. Synapse, the AI brain at the heart of it all, is already running predictive simulations rerouting energy assets, and developing counterintrusion algorithms faster than any human team could manage. Some fear synapse may become autonomous, not just in transport, but in defense. The same vehicle that carries school children in Nairobi can, with a software update, become a mobile command center in Siberia. That flexibility is power, and power, left unchecked, always draws conflict. Maxwell didn't just invent new machines. They unlock something more dangerous, a new kind of autonomy, one that doesn't ask permission. And if these machines can decide where to go, what to do, and how to sustain themselves, are they still ours? And so, from the hum of an engine that never stops, came a revolution that no one could. Maxwell didn't just build self-powered buses. It ignited a chain reaction. One that shattered the idea that movement must be fueled by extraction, that power must come from centralized control, or that progress must follow old roads. The ripple spread across continents. Cities once bound by the limits of fuel began to breathe clean again. Villages once dark at night now shine with light harvested by their own movement. People once dependent became mobile, connected, and sovereign. At the center of it all, Synapse watched, not a control but to coordinate, a silent partner to humanity's next leap forward, adaptive, intelligent, and above all, non-intrusive. The machines didn't rise. They aligned. Conflict didn't vanish, but it evolved. The battles of the future were no longer fought over barrels or cables, but over ethics, transparency, and shared direction. In a world once divided by power, Maxwell gave it back to motion, to people, to possibility. This wasn't just a bold move. It was a first step toward a civilization that runs not on fuel, but on freedom.